Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus, which we have right here. This one is second in command, and a lot of people are wondering exactly what it is all about. So let's unbox it, and also what we're going to do is we're going to do a complete tour and an initial review of this product to see what it is all about. Let's dive in. So I'm going to lift up the box, okay, and inside we have the phone. So you can see that this one is in fact the violet color which actually is a very nice color so I'm going to lift this up put it to the side and you can see there's nothing else in this side but over here we do have a user manual and a pin ejector tool so these phones do come bare bones but let's uh, focus on the main dish and see what's going on here here's just a quick snapshot of all the contents quick start guide phone cable pin ejector before we continue I do want to let you know that there's going to be exclusive links down below for Saki Tech viewers that will get you free $125 instant Samsung credit for the S24 Plus or $150 instant Samsung credit for the S24 Ultra. You will also get free double storage on any smartphone. The links are going to be down below. This is going to be a limited time deal and it's not going to last long. All right, so here we have it and you can see it is in fact a beautiful smartphone. Now right away on the back, we have a beautiful matte finish so it's not going to be a shiny finish and i want to let you know that the rear of this product is made out of gorilla glass victus 2 which is the same build as the s23 ultra from last year but it's not the gorilla glass armor found on the s24 ultra and if you look at the frame of the device you can see we do have a beautiful matte finish okay so that's great but I also want to let you know that this is not titanium. This is going to be Armor Aluminum 2.0, which is the same thing, again, as the S23 Ultra from last year. We also have that finely crafted triple camera system. So we have a 50 megapixel wide camera. That's the main camera. We have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and we have a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with three times optical zoom. On the front, we have the same 12 megapixel camera found on the S24 Ultra. Doing a quick tour around the device, you can see over here, we have the volume rocker, we have the power button. They're all very finely crafted, by the way. At the bottom, we have the USB Type-C in the middle. We have the speaker grill on the left, and we have the SIM card tray on the right, and looks like we have one microphone right here, on this side, we have nothing completely smooth armor finish. And on the top, we have two more microphones. That's basically the tour around the device. But this is really a nice color in person. But again, you do have seven colors to choose from. Now let's turn this on and set this up for the very first time and see what's going on on the software side and look at other features. Now one more thing you can see side by side with the S24 Ultra is that the S24 Plus has rounded corners as opposed to the boxy design. Some people like this better. And the other thing is the S24 Plus has completely flat sides as opposed to the slight curve on the S24 Plus. Again, some people might prefer this. All right, guys, so here we have it, the S24 Plus from the front. You can see it is, in fact, a gorgeous design. Now, I do want to let you know, this display is a 6.7-inch display. It's got the same resolution and peak brightness as the S24 Ultra. You can see the stats on the screen. So it's an extremely high-quality display. So let's tap on Start and get started. So I am going to agree to everything except what is optional. I'm going to tap on Agree. And basically, if you have something you want to transfer over from another smartphone, you can do it right here. I'm just going to say set up manually, and then it's going to ask me to connect to the Wi-Fi, which I'm going to do right away. And then you get another screen where you can also copy apps and data from another smartphone. This is going to be the smart switch. Again, I'm going to do it manually. I'm going to do a fresh phone. I'm going to say don't copy. So it's just going to start the process. Now, all you do in these next steps is to log in with your Google account, log in with your Samsung account, and you're going to be dumped into the home screen. Nothing dramatic, so I'm going to skip these steps, go all the way to the end. Now, somewhere in the middle, they're going to ask you to pick a fingerprint or face ID. I'm just going to do fingerprints real quick. So this phone does come with under display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. It does set up very fast, but you do have to pick a PIN number before you set a fingerprint so i'm going to just use something simple here to, to get us started i'm going to tap on ok and then look at this it taps on register and then like i said we have an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor 
which is a higher quality fingerprint sensor than what you get on some other smartphones that use optical fingerprint sensors. So this is the same sensor you get in the S24 Ultra, which means it is a premium high quality sensor. Okay, so it looks like we read the thing. That was very fast. You can add more. I'm going to tap on next and I'm going to continue. And then once I log in with my Samsung account, it's going to tell me I'm all set up. I'm going to tap on finish. We're going to be dumped into the home screen. All right, so we are in the home screen. So real quick, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings. Okay, I'm going to go all the way down to display. And let's set up the display brightness. I'm going to turn this off. So let's keep it right here. And again, I want to emphasize this display quality on the smartphone is just as good as the S24 Ultra with the same peak brightness of 2600 nits. And of course we have 120 hertz adaptive display refresh rate, which is great because you get super smooth scrolling, no problem. With the S24 series, there's also a brand new option known as adaptive color tone, which is the same thing you find on the iPhones, which is known as the true tone in the iPhones now we have the adaptive color tone here as well. So that's great. Now, this phone is also loaded with a bunch of AI features. So let's look at what some of those. All Samsung Galaxy S24 series smartphones, the small S24, S24 Plus, and the S24 Ultra have the same exact AI features, okay? There's nothing that has been held back on these phones in regards to AI. So tap on creative, go to generated wallpapers. This is one AI feature. It is an incredible feature. I'm gonna show you in a second right now as soon as it loads up. So basically you can create randomized wallpapers with, with artificial intelligence. So let's uh, pick an example here. I'm gonna say terrain. Okay, so I want a terrain. I want something that is surreal and I want it to be on the desert. So I'm gonna pick that option, desert. And then I'm gonna say, I want that to have shades off. Let's just say orange, tap on generate. So then it is gonna allow me to agree to that and it's gonna generate me a wallpaper. In fact, a bunch of wallpapers as you will see in a second. So here we have it and it gave me three options, okay? This is just one way to create wallpapers. I'm gonna give you one more example. Let's say I want something imaginary. I'm gonna tap on this guy. I'm gonna say I want a surreal castle, or in fact, let's say lighthouse, and then I'm gonna tap here, and I want the lighthouse to be made out of, let's see, let's see the options here, stone, and I want it to be cream and orange, or coral and tan. Tap on generate, and look at what I'm gonna be getting as a randomized wallpaper. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the options that we have. So I'm gonna set this one. I like this one right here. I'm gonna set that on my home screen and we are gonna be good to go. So that is great. Now one more thing I wanna tell you guys real quick is this phone has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor because it is a US model. All non-US model S24 and S24 Plus are gonna have Exynos 2400. But the good news with the S24 Plus is no matter which storage model you get, you are going to get default 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is fantastic. So it looks like we have the 12 gigabyte RAM here in a 256 gigabyte model. Okay. When you go to S24, the smaller phone, it starts at eight gigabytes. So that's why I really like the S24 Plus. It gives you that 12 gigabyte minimum. I wanna talk about more AI features, but before I go over there, just one more thing with the battery. The battery on this thing is enormous. It's 4,900 milliamp hours. As you know, the S24 Ultra is 5,000 milliamp hour. The S24 Ultra also has a larger display, so it does need that extra battery capacity. So what I'm trying to say is the battery life on the S24 Plus is most likely gonna be equivalent to the S24 Ultra, which is rock solid, okay? You have a smaller display, so having 100 milliamp hours less battery is not a big deal. This phone is gonna have amazing battery life guaranteed. As long as you're looking at the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. I did not get a chance to test or look at the Exynos 2400 yet. Now let's go back over here and look at one of the AI features, the circle to search function that you may have seen me talk about in my other videos. It is actually right here at the bottom under navigation bar. So if I go to swipe gestures, I get the swipe gestures as you can see, very nice and smooth, but I can enable circle to search. And basically anywhere 
I can tap and hold on the navigation bar to activate circle to search. So just try that now. Take a look at this. We have it, okay? So just like the S24 Ultra, this one has it as well. And if I go to my settings, and if I scroll down and go to advanced features, we have a whole suite of advanced intelligence options that are right here, the same as the S24 Ultra and the smaller S24, which is fantastic. So we have the ability to get real-time translations while you are on phone calls. As you can see, you can turn that on or off, and you can pick the languages, the default languages, and then you have, I think, 14 options to get you started, but they'll be adding more. And then we have other things like the Samsung keyboard smart features, the interpreter, which allows you to do live translations of spoken conversations. If you're traveling, it's very, very helpful. AI features in Samsung Notes, in voice recorders, Samsung internet, and of course, in the photo editor. So that's all fantastic that we have these features in here. Let's see what else we have. And one more thing that we have here is a hidden feature. It is in advanced features. You do have to go to labs to enable it, and it's gonna be right here known as photo ambient wallpaper. Again, it uses AI. So enable this, and then pinch the screen. All right, go to the wallpaper and style, choose change wallpapers. When you go to creative, now you have this photo ambient lock screen wallpaper. Let me tap it, and basically, if you set any wallpaper in the lock screen, here's an example you will get these nice weather effects in the background. So if it is snowing outside or raining outside in the lock screen wallpaper, you will see that reflecting using these animations. All right, so let's quickly try this one out. I'm gonna tap on try now. So let's just pick a wallpaper. This is the one I downloaded a couple minutes ago. I'm gonna tap on it, okay? So that's what you get, okay? Now once you set the wallpaper, you can tap on play and what it is going to do is it's going to show you different effects. So that's a rain effect, as you can see, okay? And then it's going to give you the snow effect. What I want you guys to notice is how the snow is coming in front and also behind the character. So the AI understands and analyzes the photo and reacts to the photo. In fact, if I could zoom in, you could even see raindrops hitting the jacket and bouncing off of it. So this is a great little AI feature. Nice customization. Now one more thing I'm gonna talk about has to do with some charging features. So again, if I go over here to device care, of course we have wireless charging. We have reverse wireless charging, which is gonna be right here at the bottom. Reverse wireless charging to charge other devices on the back of your phone. And also, I wanna let you guys know that you are able to charge this phone with a 45 watt charger. So what you get is you get zero to 65% of charge in 30 minutes using a 45 watt charger. On top of that, we have the brand new battery protection options. So if you want maximum battery protection, you can go with maximum, you can do adaptive, or you can do basic, or if you don't care about the battery, you don't wanna protect it, which again is not a big deal, you can disable it. If you enable it and put it to maximum, the battery is gonna last longer, but we're talking about five, six, seven years now. So it's up to you. If you know you're gonna keep the phone for a long time, you can play with these options, but if not, you can just turn this off. It is all gonna be up to you. Now compared to the S24 Ultra, what this phone doesn't have is it doesn't have the S Pen, does not have the boxy design, does not have the slightly larger display, and does not have the same camera system as the S24 Ultra, which is the most advanced camera system you can get on these Samsung phones. The S24 Plus has the triple camera system, but beyond that, there is no differences between these two smartphones. So if you like the shape and the size, you will be fully satisfied with the S24 Plus. So that's my initial unboxing and impressions and review. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?